Something I can't seem to escape no matter how hard I try is family life, family snapshots, albums, those really sentimental, special things that we hold on to. I purchased 335mm slides off eBay at the end of last year from the 1970s, a collection of family snapshots. And then I have been recreating essentially these non-human humans out of various materials like polystyrene and MDF, and then re-photographing them within my home in these sort of new scenes that they don't really consist of any time or place. I love to work with my hands and Photography doesn't always lend to a lot of that, so that's how I ended up making these 3D people. I knew I wanted parts of these slides to come through, and this allowed me to, to do that process without trying to digitally manipulate them. I've always really been interested in kind of the behind the scenes, the making of things, and with these work, so much was going into setting them up to take supposedly this final image that I actually decided to start taking a few steps back and suddenly all these objects that are coming together to create one work that people wouldn't usually really see have become almost far more interesting than what that final work potentially is. A highlight of producing this series has definitely been just being able to push myself and see where I'm capable of going, seeing what I like, what I don't like, where my creative mind goes, what my interests are which is, I think, really valuable to then step out outside of art school and be in the real world. I would definitely recommend the Dunedin School of Art to anybody considering it. I tend to rave about it. My whole time here has been a highlight. Within photography, our little fear department, it's a family. That's what makes it really special here. You, you feel like you belong somewhere, as well as all, obviously the great equipment and things that are available to us here. And you've given so many opportunities to try everything. And the confidence given from things I've learned here, not only technically, um, but also how to kind of run a business and be a practicing artist. It's given that little boost to be like, yes, I can do this and I will be okay. You can be a creative outside of an art school.